De Prade has been traveling around the Netherlands for 22 summers, bringing their unique brand of colorful entertainment to people of all ages. The combination of circus, carnival, and street fair provides a variety of fun and interesting activities, including 80 separate dance, music, and theater performances to choose from. The festive atmosphere is contagious, and most shows provide short previews to entice visitors into the many multicolored tents and terraces there are on offer. I've come to the opening day to speak with Parade's business leader and programmer, Ray Von Santen, to find out a bit more behind the success of this well-known traveling show. Tell us about the history of Parada. How did it begin? Well, we started 22 years ago, and uh, we were very small at the time when we started. And we just uh, wanted a festival without subsidies. So the, the artist had to make his own money here. And we quite succeeded in that. You have now, this year, 80 theater, dance, and music performances. I mean, how does the selection process work? We are programming one year in advance, so uh, we're with my colleague, I'm uh, choosing the acts on the parade, and we, we get 600 people who want to play here, and we have uh, 140 uh, interviews with them, and about 80 will stay. So a lot of people want to play here because it's, it's a big success. have performances that are appropriate for non-Dutch residents and visitors? Oh yes, yes, we've got a lot. Uh, we've got a lot of dance uh, performances, we've got a lot of music performances, mime uh, shows, so there's a lot to see. There seems to be a lot of very interesting and, and bizarre, if I can say, things that go around even on the streets here as you walk by. Yes, um, a lot of artists they, are, they have to make a, a performance before they, they do the show. So that's, that's what we call making and parade. What's great is, the, is the show next door, dark room. Don't miss it, come and, and see it. And they do a little, about three or four minutes, um, they give a review of their show. Ladies and gentlemen, for all you internationals out there, this is the glamour show that you have to see now that we're on the parade in The Hague. We, we start at three o'clock in the afternoon and we've got children's afternoon and then we continue the whole day until one or two o'clock in, in, uh, in the morning yes and then in the weekend we do two o'clock well one of my favorite attractions here which by the way I highly recommend is the silent disco for those who aren't aware a silent disco is a sheltered and outdoor dance floor with DJ included where everyone is wearing a headset dancing away to energizing music and oblivious to those outside who can't stop giggling until it's their turn to get in on the fun. It's true, it's, it's really very, very nice. It's a reoccurring attraction now for some time. Yes, Silent they are celebrating disco. their 10th anniversary on the, on the Parada now. So you should come, come and see it. You know, there's more than just theater and spectacle at the Parada. You have quite a variety of food and drink, too. Yes, we have a lot of restaurants, beautiful restaurants. We have a French restaurant, an Italian restaurant, or we have a Chinese restaurant. Um, and it's all with bi biologic products. Mm. So it's really clean food on the Parada. Your theater carnival is represented in four major cities within this two-month period. How is that logistically done? We built the parade in five days. So we, we finish the city and then we, we break it up. And then in, the, in five days it will be standing in the next city. We will stay in uh, Westbrook uh, Park until the 15th of July. So we will stay here uh, 10 days. We are a free state in the city. So you can do really anything, and that's really wonderful to see. Veteran artist performer Arthur Mulder, you have been entertaining audiences for 15 years. What, what do you consider the definition of parade? Well, I think the parade, it's a, it's, it's a free, um, moving village 
and it's uh, uh, the biggest uh, moving village here in Europe. There's a lot of interaction I find here within the village. Yeah, and that, that's one of the biggest things uh, that the Parade is uh, known of, that it's not only about the theater in tents. You drink coffee and go to one performance and then drink another coffee and get to another performance. No, it's the whole experience that you have here. Performers here who are performing in the tent are actually outside the grounds, walking around, interacting with the people. That's part of what is the parade. Well, you're, you're making a show outside. It doesn't mean that it's the real show that you get inside. So you've got a double surprise. Now I am a nurse Klaartje and I have for every injury I have a cure and the cure is a nice song and people come uh, more happy uh, out of the performance than they go inside. <laughs> so the band-aids are really just for show? No, they are the intrebewijs. Ah, that the means... tickets to get in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> just walking through the gate, you're presented with a free-spirited atmosphere and an opportunity to interact with the strangest and endearing characters. For more information, please visit their website at www.deparade.nl. This is Rob Barsoni reporting for Dutch Buzz.